Indian economy is one of the fastest growing economies in the world. No wonder MSEs play an important role to make this happen and it has recognized worldwide. Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises envisioned a vibrant MSME sector by promoting growth and development through its various schemes. In our country, government is the largest buyer of MSEs, products and services. But various government departments and public sector undertakings, PSUs, face challenges in finding reliable MSEs having capacity in terms of financial and technical competence to produce quality products. As per recent government's mandate, under public procurement policy, 20% of all government purchase should be from MSEs and out of 20%, 4% would be from the MSEs owned by SCSTs. But MSEs face many challenges in government tenders, which are not limited to purchase of tender documents, payment of earnest money deposits for multiple tenders, competition with large industries. That is why National Small Industries Corporation NSIC is facilitating the MSE sector through its flagship program Single Point Registration Scheme. NSIC's Single Point Registration Scheme SPRS facilitating MSEs as well as the procurement departments. MSEs registered under SPRS can participate in large government tenders collectively under consortia and tender marketing scheme of NSIC. Under SPRS, registered MSEs get a third-party physical inspection certification which provides them an edge over to the others so that the procurement agencies can trust them as a reliable vendor. The scheme provides facilities like issue of tender documents free of cost, exemption from earnest money deposit and price preference up to 15% of the L1 price of non-MSME unit. It has resulted into enhanced participation by MSEs in the government tenders. The SPRS scheme is a very important advantage of SPRS. In SPRS, we have a single point registration scheme. We have a certification which has an advantage of it. We have a lot of benefit in every place. We go to the government organization, we go to the tendering. So this is the most I think, precious thing for us today, which we have given us today. Registration under SPRS is very easy. The process of registration involves online application in which a registration form needs to be filled online. Scanned copies of necessary documents have to be uploaded. Later, the original documents may be shown to the NSIC branch office. A technical inspection will be carried out with a third party who forwards their recommendations to NSIC for further process. After receiving the favorable inspection report, NSIC issues the SPRS registration certificate online to the MSE according to their production and financial capacities. They consider the capacity ke how much uh, uh, material we can produce uh, in so much time or per month production or six months production or one year's production. That they consider after submitting the certificate from the NSIC. Procuring departments can also check MSE's SPRS certificates online on www.nsicspronline.com The validity of this certification is of two years. Renewable and amendment facilities are available online. NSIC also maintains the database of such registered units and reviews it time to time. NSIC also makes amendment in the registration certificate. NSIC is continuously endeavoring to promote the products of MSEs and their competence as well. NSIC's single point registration scheme, a gateway to public procurement for MSEs.